coach. At news since our early evening news, Jaguars owner Shad Khan is out with a statement about his picks. And fans are coming out with all types of reaction over today's big moves. Our coverage tonight begins with sports director Sam Kavaris. And Sam, what did Shad Khan have to say about Marone? You know, Mary, when I first alluded to this on Saturday night on my Twitter account, I thought it was interesting that Doug Marone had impressed me so much in just the two weeks that he had been the interim head coach. Obviously, he did the same to Shad Khan at dinner last Monday night and at their interview in the middle, middle of the week, the formal interview about the head coaching job. Because Khan's statement tonight said basically he's turning the reins over to not only Doug Marone, but also to Tom Coughlin. I have confidence that one day soon we'll look back on today's news as the moment that inspired and ultimately established the Jacksonville Jaguars as a football team that wins week to week and season to season. Khan continued. I'm honored to welcome Tom Coughlin back to Jacksonville, where winning was customary under his leadership. The extension of Dave Caldwell's contract speaks to his excellent work thus far and the continued importance of complementing our talented and promising roster. I am particularly enthused to introduce Doug Marone as our new head coach. Doug is a strong football man, but with Tom coming in to join Dave and Doug, there is no question the Jacksonville Jaguars are a stronger football team today. It is an interesting hire because after all of the search, the search committee, the search firm that they hired, the numerous interviews that they did, they actually ended up hiring the guy that was already in their back pocket. One thing that happened over the last 10 days is not only the interview process, but other people in the National Football League were telling Shad Khan that perhaps they should take a very serious look at the guy that they, had in, that they already had in their backyard. Marone, a former head coach at Syracuse and at Buffalo, was slated to get the job with the New York Jets, but ended up with the Jaguars as an assistant head coach and an offensive line coach. He was a very loyal lieutenant to Gus Bradley, and according to Bradley, did a phenomenal job as the offensive line coach. Now as the head coach, he'll institute some more of the things that he started to do in the final two weeks of the Jaguars, some more things that, as he said, he feels comfortable with. We'll hear more about that coming up on Thursday at 10 a.m., when Coughlin and Marone will be formally introduced. Kent? All right, thank you, Sam. You know, Jaguars Nation sounding off tonight about the official hire of Marone as head coach of the team. Channel 4's Eric Avigny is joining us live from the landing where fans out there sound mixed about the decision, Eric. That's right. We're at the Hooters in, uh, at the landing where, as you can see, it's a pretty big night for college football, but it's an even bigger night for Jaguar fans who are reacting to the coaching change. Tim Carmichael is a Jaguar fan who says the promotion of assistant coach Doug Marone to head coach was a smart move by the franchise. Uh, my first reaction was great. We've got somebody locked down that that uh, knows the franchise, and that that's exciting. He did a great job as interim. Carmichael isn't alone. We spoke to several Jags fans at area sports bars who also say Marone was the right choice, but that the decision to switch him to head coach should have come much earlier in the season a 3-13 and 13 season at the bottom of the AFC South Division. Well, I feel like they should have done that a little bit earlier than what they did, waiting until the last two games of the season. I don't know. Maybe they would have changed if uh, they would have stepped in a little bit earlier and told the players that we look at it this way. we changing coaches. We can also change y'all. I feel that the team and the coaches need to click. So they weren't clicking with the coach. So, And then it shows. Soon as you change coaches, you win by 20 points. This is what your Jaguar fans have been wanting here in Jacksonville all year long. The question now is where to set the bar going into next season with Marone leading the team. Going to keep it low because uh, we've had a lot of years of, of losing. I'm looking at teams that if you can be 7-8 and eight or 8-8 eight and eight and make the playoffs, I can't see why the Jags can't be another team to be successful in such. And I understand Coach Marone was able to do that in Buffalo. But um, again, uh, the talent he had there versus the talent he has now, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how they'll build that team with that type of record overnight. Now the, now the Jaguars are adding yet another familiar face to the organization. Coach Tom Coughlin is coming back to the franchise this time as the new executive uh, vice president of operations. He was the first Jags coach. Uh, that was from 1995 to 2002. Of course, we're going to have more on Coach Coughlin uh, coming up at 11, reporting live from inside the Hooters at the landing 
Eric Avignon, Channel 4, the local station.